Finally, Shopify has given us a way that we can customize our store without needing a developer, without needing an agency, or without needing to pay for extra apps. For years, we've been heavily restricted by the Shopify themes that we have been using. We haven't been able to customize the theme like other platforms such as WordPress or Magento, and we've been really stuck and our store started to look like everybody else's. But now Shopify have released a feature called Shopify Meta Fields. And this is gonna be a game changer because it's gonna allow us to actually add in these meta fields into our store so that we can customize the look and feel our store will stand out from its competitors, it's gonna increase conversions, and at the end of the day, we're gonna make more money online. If we're just meeting, my name's Brendan Gillen, and I'm a Shopify partner. I've been ranked the top 50 in e-commerce three times now here in Australia. I run my own seven-figure Shopify store, and I've created this channel to help e-commerce entrepreneurs just like you start, grow, and optimize their e-commerce stores so they can make more money online. So what are Shopify meta fields? Well, they are a section in Shopify that allow you to store data against parts of your store so that you can use them later. And when I mean use them later, you can use them in places like your templates or within your pages across your Shopify store. Some examples of this could be used on your product information page. So we could add additional information like size guides, ingredients, materials, and we can assign them to products in Shopify so that when you put them on your template, it's going to show them on the page. Let me give you an example on my store on how we're using meta fields. So as you can see here on my store, this doesn't look like a standard product page. We can see some additional information here. I'm using meta fields to pull this out and I'm using meta fields to populate this data. So if we have a look, I've got a tag here, which is bestseller. That's being used by meta fields. I have this little quick description section here. Now this is a great way to increase conversions because we can talk about the product really quickly and easily. So someone doesn't need to go right to the bottom to read the product description. I put this in using meta fields also. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, I've also created this little section here, which is called product highlights. This again, as you guessed it, are meta fields that I put against the product. Now we've also got the standard description as you'd normally see, and we're also creating these accordion boxes, which are also being populated through meta fields. So this has been designed into the product template, which means any product that has meta field data against it is going to show on this template. Let me give you an example of another product. As you can see here, this has the same layout. We have the badges. We have this quick description and we have the product highlights. And we look to the left and we have all the same accordions. Now again, this is being populated with product meta fields. So let me show you how we set them up and how you can use it on your store. Let's jump into the back end of this demo store. To get to meta fields, you're gonna to wanna to click settings. We're going to want to go to custom data. And in here, we're going to see meta fields. And what we can see is that we can actually create meta fields for all different areas of your Shopify store, from products to variants to collections, customers, orders, basically everything that you can create content around in Shopify, we can add a meta field to. For today's tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to use product meta fields because that's probably the most common way you're gonna to want to use them. Before we do that, I'm gonna jump back to a product and show you how this is going to be used. So here's some demo products here. Let's jump in the organic decaf coffee product. Now, if we look at this, this is a standard Shopify product page. We've got the title, we've got the description, the images, it's pretty standard. So if we then go and have a look at this product on the front end, we can see that it looks pretty boring, okay? Now I know when I'm buying online, it's important to be able to know everything about the product. It's a bit like when you pick something up off the shelf of a store and you look at the back, you wanna see what it's all about. You wanna see how to use it and you wanna see the ingredients. This is where Shopify meta fields can really help. So to add them in as meta fields, we're going to go back to what I talked about, which was settings, custom data, and products. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to add definition and we're gonna call this one ingredients. We choose ingredients and we'll just write a short description so that we can know what this is about later. Now with meta fields, there's lots of different ways that we can store the data. We can store it as just a single line of text, multi-line of text, a number, uh, decimal number, we can even link products and files to it. If you have a look down here, there's lots of different types of meta fields. Now for this one here, we're going to choose multi-line text. Now we don't need to do anything else in here, we can just click save. Awesome, so that meta field has now been set up. So now if we go to our theme, we click online store, and we go to themes, we click customize. Now just so you know, meta fields only work with Shopify 2.0 themes. Now pretty much every theme in the marketplace now has 2.0 on it. However, if you're using an old theme, it may not be meta field enabled. So you'll just have to check that it's a 2.0 theme. So let's go to our product template and add in this ingredients element. Click default product. And let's just change it to that coffee one. Okay, here we go here, organic coffee. 
All right, so we can see this matches what we saw on the front end earlier. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add another field here, which is ingredients. Let's click add block and let's choose collapsible row. This will be cool, we'll click collapsible row and we'll call the heading ingredients. Now we can put a little icon here if we want a check mark. Let's choose serving dish. Okay, awesome. So let's now put that in here. Now what we would usually do is we could write the ingredients in here. These are the ingredients of organic coffee. Okay, let's click save. Now for those of you that know a little bit about Metafields, you'll see what's gonna happen here. So let's preview this theme. And let's go to the organic coffee. Awesome, we've got this ingredients one and it says these are the ingredients of organic coffee. But there's a problem. Let's go to another product, toothbrushes. Scroll down to ingredients. We can see these are the ingredients for, of organic coffee. Now this is the problem because when we assign something to a template, it assigns it to all products. This is where Metafields changes the game. Let's go back and fix this. Let's jump back into here. Instead of typing it into this one here, what we actually wanna do is click this little option here. This is called a dynamic source. If we click insert dynamic source, we now are going to see this new meta field that we've created here. So let's click ingredients, and that's going to now put these ingredients in here. So if we click save, and let's go back to the product on the front end and see what happens. So let's refresh. We can now see that the ingredients is empty. So what we need to do is populate the ingredients for each product. We go back to our store, we go to our product, and what we're going to see now is we've got a product meta field at the bottom here, which is called ingredients. So that's the coffee ingredients. Let's click save. And what we can do is do the exact same thing on another product. So we'll grab the soap, go down here, made from natural avocado. Okay, we'll click save. Let's go and have a look how that looks on the front end. We'll refresh this page. You can see ingredients has shown up and under there, these are the ingredients for coffee. Let's check out the other one. And these are the ingredients for the natural avocado. So that's the way that we can use meta fields on our store. But what if you wanted to update, say 20, 30 products at once, we can actually do this using the bulk editor and leverage meta fields within the bulk editor. Let me show you how to do that now. So if we click our products and we get the list of all the products, what we can do is we can select all products at once and click bulk edit. When we're in here, we'll then choose columns and we can scroll down and find our meta field ingredients. And as you can see, they're all here. So we can actually go through together and fill out, uh, maybe not ingredients for a bamboo toothbrush, but you know what I mean. And what we've done is we've now updated all products at one time just by clicking save. So by now I'm sure you can see the power of meta fields. So the way that we can use this across other parts of the site is we add different meta fields to different sections. So we can add it to collections, we can add it to customers, we can add it to everywhere. And the way to leverage these on your theme is to look for the dynamic source. And this dynamic source can be added into any section of the site just by clicking this little icon here. So I'm sure you can now see the power of having meta fields on your store. So what I want you to do now, look at what you might have missing on yours and use meta fields to bring that data to life within your themes.